for a freshman, there will always be anticipation and excitement about what the upcoming year will bring. For Brody Hicks, his freshman year was full of unforgettable moments, but there was none greater than the moment he became part of the Liberty Flames basketball family. I was nuts, like meeting Coach McKay and then getting up here and meeting all the all the players and stuff. Like I felt like I really fit in and I was gonna make a lot of good friends and we started playing and I just loved it. But Brody's excitement was short-lived. A routine physical raised concerns regarding his health. I can remember getting on the phone with my mom and telling her and then uh, the doctor had asked my mom and dad to come up for an appointment and they were kind of saying, well, there's some stuff going on and we don't really know whether or not you should be able to play. And so my dad asked the doctor, like, if it were your son, would you let him play? And the doctor said no. He said, if it were my son, I wouldn't let him play. An EKG would reveal that Brody had a possible life-threatening heart condition. You have this, these doctors saying, hey, you know, this test we don't like, this test we don't like, this test we don't like. Here's what we can do to maybe confirm some of these things and, and here's what we're gonna do right now. And, and a lot of that, a kid just gets hit upside the head with like, you're not playing basketball. The doctor's only there for the initial response. He's not gonna see. Three weeks later when it gets crying, you know? I was like, man, like, like, what am I gonna do? And I just remember Scotty sitting there and was like, man, like, we're gonna get through this. We got you, like, whatever you need. And, and just know like, you're a part of this family now, so we're gonna take care of our own. It was crazy, like, coming in and immediately feeling like a part of the team. And then it's just like, oh, well, not really. It was like, oh, you know, you can't practice. And it went from the one thing that I usually use as my escape for like the emotional situations in my life. Like I couldn't even do that. So it was like, I had all these emotions that I didn't really understand. And then I didn't really know the way to deal with them. I think being able to watch someone handle disappointment and become better afterwards is, is, is what our theology is about. Why would a good God give me this? A good God will let us suffer so that he can have more of a heart in the end. Coach Susie was great, like helping me through the whole, the whole process. I just remember him like right away, like I think after Coach McKay addressed the team about it, was adamantly like, hey, like, like, like I'm praying for you and I just want you to know like I'm praying that God is gonna heal your heart. We exalt you and, and we put all of our faith and trust in you. And that was like the first time for me that I had heard that. Like I had heard people say like, oh, I'm praying for like for you to have emotional strength or like I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying for you and just kind of leaving it at that. But he was like very direct. He said, I'm praying for you. I want you to know that I believe that if you have faith, God will heal your heart. And I was like, what? Like the first time he said it, I was literally like, uh, did I hear you right? And it just developed into like, Anytime I would see him and like he could tell I was down, he was like, just, just remember our prayer, like let this be our prayer. With his collegiate basketball career hanging in the balance, Brody's family sought out a second opinion. But this time the diagnosis was different. Brody was back in the game. I remember my mom drove me back and she drove me back like right as practice was starting. So I walked in and, and I like, told them like, hey, like they said, like they didn't see anything like we were all talking and it was like a really exciting moment so off the mark and hicks gathers in the rebound yeah five on the clock it's up to brody hicks back to mayo he'll shoot the three. Oh my God. <laughs> there are defining moments in every person's life and for brody his defining moment was his freshman year when he was given a new lease on life and a new chance to play the game he loves if I had been playing and practicing the entire time from the time I got here, I don't think I'd be in nearly the same state with my faith. If I get in the game and, you know, somebody will come put their arm around me and be like, hey, this time last year we didn't think this was gonna this was gonna ever happen and like like look, look how far we've come kind of thing. And it's always that's like the cool part is it's always look how far like we've come. Learning that that God can really do anything and that sometimes like he might do something that I won't understand. One thing it did is it made me a lot more bold in my faith. Like Coach Susie wasn't afraid to say, hey, I've asked God to heal your heart. And then eventually, you know, 
I was praying that prayer with him, and that, that's kind of encouraging to know, like, if there's other things going on. I mean, I hope that I won't ever face something that completely rocks my world like that, but, you know, if it does, like, maybe I will be bold enough to, like, step out and like, say, hey, God, I'm praying for this, and some of my teammates have seen, like, oh, like, the same thing that I've seen, like, oh, if, if God can do something as big as, you know, completely change this type of situation, then he's certainly capable and more than capable to do anything that we could ask for on a, on a daily basis. And I hope that I, I live that in such a way that it reflects my appreciation and, and gratitude.